Hey, hello and welcome back to Ixtion. I'm Afrologi, and apparently this slightly askew thing is supposed to be centered because I found the reset button. Oh boy, we're out of um, that stuff. Okay. We need to uh, find some carbon now. Yep. But we don't have any... Oh crap, did I just soft luck us? Um, well, hopefully we can find some carbon on one of these things, so I can send a probe out for that. Oh, we also have to the resources. Oh, the crap. Has completed a task. As the starship was returning the carbon to the Valley of Telluric bodies that were orbiting Valiant, 71 hit the science ship. Fortunately, no damage was done. The cryopods have been prepared for extraction. The crew's trust in your leadership is falling. So this might be the end. Oh, we got some polymers. Perfect. A probe has completed its scan. Oh, it's over there. Okay, so... And let's turn that off so they get shift back over. So I think my, we definitely need to focus on getting more resource production up. has occurred in the tycoon. A science ship has arrived at its destination. All right. Several sensors recorded contradictory readings relating to the device. My science ship not arrived. Oh, we need the deep dive apparatus, which we are researching, if I recall. Yep. We just need more science. So we were going ahead. Up here. And then we can head around to Chevy 34. We need to find some alloys. We need to find lots of alloys because I screwed that up. What, do, what does it take to make more... Uh, factories is what I want. Steel mill, we need. F ah, that's expensive. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Alright, San Stanford team reporting. We landed on the Rakatonsky D79. The icy comic is barren, but its rotation causes shadows to dance across its surface quite beautifully. Flurries of snow move erratically around the comet, perhaps because of an abnormally high gravity. The signal appears to be transmitting from a cave. A glacial mass blocks its entrance. We await further instructions. Oh boy, we don't have the resources for that, so, um. Yeah. Use explosives. And have I set it to uh um, ship team has completed a task. Tycoon Death Toll now stands at over one hundred under the current administration. Oh no. Crap, we don't have the resources. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Um, we just lost the science ship. We don't have the resources to build another one. Or to get the infrastructure. Oh. Crap. Um. Hmm. Uh, 
Oh boy. Um, there's a chance I can recover from this, but it's not a good one. So you know what? We're going to start fresh. Let's do that. Uh, main menu. Oh, we're going to start from fresh, take what we've learned, and we're going to apply it in apply it for our next playthrough. So I'm going to cut here, and I'll be right back once we've um, once we've cut through all those cutscenes and actually into gameplay. Because that's going to be hours and hours. It's either going to be hours of recovery time, and the longer we stay there, the worse it gets for us. So yeah, I'll be back. So we're back. We're ready for our take two of this Let's Play. And I'm going to be honest, there was a bit of a break between my last attempt and this attempt. In that time, I was able to do a few more attempts just to learn the mechanics off camera. I'm actually going to talk over these guys because there's subtitles and we've seen this already. Anyways, so, but yeah, I've spent some time studying the mechanics, learning things, and I now, and reading online just because I didn't realize the math was as straightforward as it was. So I went online and then I looked at, started looking at these things like, oh, if I stopped and started doing some math, I really just need to start having a notebook next to me. I don't, ever since I've moved back to my hometown, I haven't had a notebook with me. When I lived in the city, I had a notebook next to me, but now I don't. Also, I, I also had space for a second laptop that I'd have set up so I could have spreadsheets open. But, don't have that in my current place, so... Actually, I could. I need to clean my desk for that. But anyway, so I now have a strategy that got me... That strategy got me successfully at the same point... Um, off camera, as I was able to get on camera with you guys. I didn't progress past that, because I don't want to spoil the story. Because I want to experience it fresh with you guys. With my first impressions. A little bit of lag. Okay, that's starting to bug me. I'll we'll live with it. So, but yeah, so I have a feeling this playthrough is going to be, we're actually going to be able to get through the story this time. Um, I'm the, my biggest problem in my first take and my first two off camera was I pushed through it too quickly. I didn't take my time. I needed to stop. I need to slow down, take my time, make sure I'm established and develop slower and not worry as much about the stability rating because I think I started to open up cryopods too quickly. I need to expand in fits and bursts once I've basically expand a little, stabilize, Expand a little bit more, stabilize. That's gonna be my more uh, gonna be my strategy this time, especially since now I now know how overpowered recycling is. Waste product recycling waste is incredibly powerful in this game. Welcome on board. At least until the devs nerf it, because you can at least get your you can't expand that much with uh, waste, but you can keep yourself fairly stable. Shuttle EMV Sharon is now docked. Sector 1, empowered and pressurized. Munchie decontamination protocol online. Disembarkation authorized. Message to crew members. Welcome on board the Tycoon, property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and would like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I thought I fixed that already. For some reason, this game isn't saving my display settings. I have to reset this each time I play. And I thought I had set that off camera before I booted up, but I guess not. Here we go. Eden, the personal there we go. assistant installed on board the Tycoon. In accordance with the Munchie protocol, I have been designed to take into consideration your complete psychological profile so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. 
My primary purpose is to ensure the Tycoon's automated systems function efficiently. I will keep track of the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research, mining operations, manufacturing protocols, and Dolo's colonization tests. And here we go. Now that I... Oh, more talking. Administrator, I wanted to introduce you to your first tasks personally. I'm Dolo's cryonics lead, Marduk council member Giovanni Batista. So, let's see. Your first objective will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure aboard the Tycoon, meeting the environmental conditions that are required to support your crew. Having laid these foundations, you will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, fire up the colonization protocol, begin building the foundations for mankind's future, yada yada yada. <laughs> and then, you'll come back. Now, in order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Tycoon's core functions. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling and distribution of resources, construction, balancing of power output with allocation. Oh, and space exploration, you know, setting out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Tycoon following the first test of its Vol engine. Eden's gonna display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, and Administrator, don't let the position go to your head. Veneer has insisted to center Dolos' focus on the Tycoon. But this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. The Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So, toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the Tycoon back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us, okay? One last word of advice. We don't all think like Veneer Dolos. As of yet, no human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking to me. All right. Oh, they're still talking. I have established a connection with Dolos's lead data scientist, Emma Klein. Uh, yeah, let's get through this. Administrator, Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. Given the importance of the Tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. My name is Emma Klein, Dolos' lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. My department have just completed final synchronization between Eden and our data treatment tool. The DLS. The DLS, or Data Listening System, is capable of scanning, recording, and parsing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming that is a part of Eden will filter all data collected and bring to your attention only the most relevant information. It will also provide you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and formulate potential future outcomes. It will permit you to give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Eden will then take care of everything via their DLS accreditation. As is often the case with tools produced by my department, I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to do without it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, Dr. Munshi, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of vol jumping. Whilst there is a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia, he believes that a vol jump has the potential to accelerate this process, although this is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, as these facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being recorded by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council, who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. Administrator, 
And we're gonna fulfill that in a minute. Yes, I will ensure access to food. There's no time site for that. Time limit for that. Okay. Well, the time limit is how long it takes the people to start get hung start getting hungry. I want to build my mess hall right here next to all the uh, people. Or well, where the people live. Come on. There we go. You have to wait for the uh, little trucks to uh, deliver the goods before the last thing just disappears. So let's stick this to high priority. Get ready to build the lab. Which we're going to need more resources for. And what else am I going to want? Alright, pick you up. Actually, now you I want that thing gone first. Because I want when I start building, I, like, I want to build along this way and down this way. Oh, the science ship is almost built. And we're ready to build the transport next. So, but, um, another thing I seriously underestimated in my last playthrough was um, lab up lab checks. I just kind of went with the fact I'd only be producing one science every. 30 cycles or whatever this, but it's actually possible to upgrade the tech lab and we that needs to be our priority as well as a few other oh. I have an incoming transmission from Marduk Council Member Henry Bargeville. Alright. Administrator. What a wonderful day to embrace your faith, don't you think? I'm Henri Bargeville, writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all member of the Marduk Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Oshanavi, a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashtangais. Even so, they are a small organization. The Ashtangais are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Oshanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the Tycoon's initial testing. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Self-similar space will reveal the pattern. Alright, uh, access feeding crew. What do you want? Uh, yeah, well, we can do that. We need... Uh, 45, that's 60, so we need two more houses. And here we go! Uh, Alright, the science ship should be done, shouldn't it? Yep. And dismantle the base. I wonder how the UN feels about us dismantling one of their outposts. And... Alright, well lab is done, those buildings will get built. Perfect. A science ship team has completed a task. Perfect. I should also deploy. Uh, this science ship is going to be focused, uh, all transport is going to be 
put focus entirely on gathering valuable resources. Well, processed goods, I should say. My f when I start expanding this way, my first sector is going to be industry focused, and I'll have a specific docking bay there to deliver the its resources. All right, now we have this. Now we want to be able to get to up be able to upgrade the tech labs, which we can't upgrade. Where's tech lab? First upgrades are locked behind tier two, and the important one, wait, like this one here, increases production rate of three designs to three units every five cycles. That's a huge increase over our one every whatever it is. But we need technology here too, so we need to immediately start researching things. Okay. Greetings, Administrator. I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi, Dolo's expert in compartmentalism and medicine, and a member of the Marduk Council. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today. So I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you're equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. Yeah, so we're going to hold off on building that bull engine for now. There we go. So it's one farm it, for at the start. It's one farm for every fifty people. A new request awaits your attention. Request new additional staff. You go pick up people as well. Pick that up, and we'll build an infirmary. EVA airlock. Stop harvesting that. And we need to get the EVA airlock up. I'll wait for this to drain, and then we'll delete this extra road here, and we'll be able to fit the EVA the airlock in there. Team has completed a task. Einstein has finished its task. We've got science. Oh, then it's off to Saturn. Alright, once that's done, we can now... Can we research upgrades for the tech lab? No. Oh, we need all the tier 2 techs. So we're going to need that. So in the meantime... I want... Hmm... Steel mills are going to be the more important things for industry once we get that up and running. So let's get that going. And there we go. There we go. Probe bay is done. Oh, that's not done. It's going to be built, but we're getting there. And I do want to get the, um... Apparently, I discovered it by accident while taking my time, that you can discover Outer Hope early. Oh. Stanford routines recommend that you construct an external solar panel to boost overall electrical output. 
which means we're going to need the EVA. Have we researched that already? Yes, we have. EVA airlock. We're eventually going to want a second one of these. And yeah, so that's... Let's see, how are you doing? Oh, you're done that. Come on, Saturn. Oh, we need another house. Well, crew quarters. Anyone sick? No. Well, I guess injured. And we, they don't really deal with the flu out here. I, I'm, the reason I think it's sick, not injured, is because of I've been playing like a, like I said earlier in a previous episode. I've been playing a lot of Frostpunk. All oh, right, what do I want to take out next? I'll take out this big box. Actually, I don't think the order matters anymore because I've exp oh I want I'll take those two out next. Oh, that requires 12 power, so I'll turn off the uh, insect farm for now. A science ship has arrived at its destination. And uh, send a team to investigate. There we go. External construction. We want to build a, a new solar panel. Power what? Overloaded. Uh, I'll turn off this thing for now because we're not Power using it. Actually, we're really not. Actually, we don't need that anymore because it's already building the solar panel, so let's turn that on. A science ship team has completed a task. Alright, what did you discover? A prototype rocket sent by the UN seems to use a variation of EKP. They have stripped it down and recovered schematics. Perfect! Okay, it's researching steel mills. We're good there. Alright, we have power. Actually, let's just queue all of these guys. We're, we're not worried about uh, what resources get mined in what order. Mission plan the vol. Okay, next is the vol engine. So. There. So now we're actually yeah, I, I I want the that tech lab upgrade that was so helpful in my last uh in my in my personal playthrough upgrading that tech lab because once you get to the point where you're basically self sufficient because of waste recycling you can just idle and just collect all the research points. So upgrading my tech lab is going to be a big priority in this playthrough. There we go, that's built. We don't need this little route anymore. Um, we have the resources and the thing. We should get this up and running. Before people start getting, um, I also oh we're gonna need more people soon. Uh, no no we don't. They're already working extra hours. We don't actually want that. As so we want to keep you want to keep your uh, amount of workers high enough that if there's an accident you don't accident it doesn't accidentally push you up into extra hours because that's when you start getting additional injuries.
we're trying to avoid uh, unnecessary issues. Oh. Administrator, because of your continued successful management of the Tycoon, Dolos have authorized the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. Perfect. A new request awaits your attention. Hundred people coming in. Uh, yes, there will be three. Uh, we want actually four because we're gonna have we have a hundred people already. There's a hundred more on the way, so we're actually gonna want four insect farms. We're also gonna need more uh, housing. Also going to need an infirmary. Just in case. Actually we can turn this on now and launch that probe. Oops, that's not the probe. That's the probe. We want those extra science points. There we go. Green set farms and more on the way. The different phases of preparation, calibration, and verification were successfully completed. We must now start the bowl bonding procedure. Dolo's protocols now deem you competent to gather resources, knowledge, and test colonization routines once you reach Proxima Centauri. Before you do so, Vanir Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. Oh boy, this guy again. Hello, Administrator. I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over, and we stand now at its epilogue. It saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others, like Dolos, who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative means of survival. The Tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Do you recognize why I have done all of this? Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. It is true that our time in this world is brief. But at least I can rest assured, knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, Administrator. For the few who stand in the light, and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. Yeah, you do this because you have a messiah complex. Oh, we need to send the science ship out there before we can do anything. And while we're waiting for that to actually happen, let's move the Tycoon just to get everything ready. And I still don't like that guy. At all. And we'll resolve this and then we're going to head out and that'll be it for our fresh start. 
A science ship has arrived at its destination. Great temporary easement contact the station. Tycoon Station, this is Marduk Council Member Rabia Nikonde. I have no idea. Nyonkon? I have no idea. Um, let's just call her Rabia. Um, you are not authorized to interface with Outer Hope. The purpose of this facility is to allow Dolos to continue with the development of its most highly classified projects far away from the prying eyes of our competitors and the media conglomerates of Earth. Do you not realize that the whole world is watching you at this moment and that your presence here could jeopardize this entire operation? I'll be filling an official complaint with Veneer himself. Unless, perhaps you can do something for me, that may change my mind. Let's send some resources. We can afford it. I just realized that my transport this in this playthrough is called Kangaroo. So once that's done... We will uh, char we'll charge up on the next episode. How close can you zoom in on these things? Oh, you can't get that close. Close enough to see the ships, though. A science ship team has completed a task. Ooh, resources. Yeah, let's wait for it to unload and then we'll end the episode. Actually, I'll end the episode here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Next episode, we activate the uh, jump drive or full engine jump, whatever. See you then.